morning, people. I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, we're gonna talk about diffusers. There's a bunch out there, but which ones are the best? Now, if you've watched any of my other videos before, welcome back. You've probably seen me use my beloved Diva Curl Diva Dryer. This looks um, very interesting. You've never seen it before. It's definitely a very unique looking blow dryer and diffuser attachment, but this has been my little ride or die ever since I got it. Although I do love my Diva dryer and use it pretty much every day, this little baby is expensive. This dryer plus the attachment is $159. Yes, I know. But just like Diva Curl in general, it is a high-end company, so you're kind of paying for the name, the luxury, and the lifestyle. But I understand that not everybody can afford a $159 plus tax diffuser. So I wanted to offer you all an alternative. Introducing the Revlon Salon Styler. This baby is super affordable. Ask me how affordable. Ask me how much it is. $16.99. That's affordable. I got mine from Amazon, but they actually sell these at Target as well for the same price. So Target or Amazon, if you have Amazon Prime, you know that you get that free two day shipping and this will be waiting for you at your doorstep in two days. So let me show you what it looks like. Here is the diffuser. So as you can see, you know, it doesn't have the little hand claw like the Diva Fuser, but it's definitely still cool looking because it's clear, you know, see-through. And it just has the blow dryer with this diffuser attachment. I use this on my hair today, as you can see. Got some good volume, didn't get any frizz, love the results. Now since you guys have seen me use my Diva Dryer in basically every curly hair video that I have, or you've at least seen the results from it, you can watch pretty much any video on my channel to see how that looks. I'm gonna show you how the Revlon diffuser got me to this point. Today we'll be diffusing on day two hair. This is refreshed using the Trelux High Definition Gel. I do like to use gel when I use a diffuser because it gives me a little bit of crunch. That way when I diffuse, it'll be perfect. So my hair right now is about 85% dry, which is when I like to diffuse. Grabbing my Revlon dryer, I'm gonna put it on the low fan speed and put it on warm. The warm is still pretty hot, so I definitely prefer the warm over the hot because the hot is super hot and we don't wanna risk any heat damage. I've also realized that because I don't have my little claw I'm used to, I kind of diffuse differently. I mean, I still flip it upside down to give more volume, but I've also been putting the diffuser directly on my curls and kind of stretching them down. This is so I don't get too much shrinkage, and it kind of stretches out the curls as I pull them down and diffuse each one. I also like this diffuser because it gives a nice airflow where it's not too strong, therefore it's not blowing your curls around, creating any frizz and a couple hair flips never hurt anybody either. So now my curls are starting to look fabulous. They're shiny, they're bouncy, they're completely dry now, but still look moisturized, which could be because of the ionic technology that both the Revlon dryer and the Diva dryer have. So when you see that word ionic on there or tourmaline, those are good terms to see on your blow dryer to make sure that it's not drying out your hair, but just literally making it not wet anymore. Now I'm grabbing my handy dandy pick to give it a little bit extra volume and then we'll be good to go, ready to slay. So first of all, the Diva dryer is a lot heavier. Maybe, you know, it's that high quality, heavy duty, I don't know, but this is heavier than the Revlon one. The Revlon one feels really light compared to the Diva dryer. The nozzles are definitely different. The Diva fuser has this little claw shape because it is made to go in between your curls, giving each curl like 360 dry. And you're also being able to target your roots very easily. So that is one thing that's like the best thing about the Diva Fuser is that it really allows you to get into your roots where your hair is usually the most wet. Whereas a regular diffuser of any other sorts, you can't exactly get on the roots. I mean, you could lift them up and make it work so it's not the end of the world, but 
You just don't have that exact sensation of knowing you're targeting just the roots. Let's look at my Diva dryer and the buttons that it has on here. I can't even read the buttons anymore because I use this so much that all the little like writing actually rubbed off. But I do know that this is a cool shot button at the top. It has two different speeds so you can go low or high and you have three different temperature settings. So you have cool, warm, or hot. When I use my Diva dryer, I usually put it on a low fan speed and I use the middle warm option. On the Revlon diffuser, it also has a cool shot button at the top. And then on the other side, it has warm or hot, and then it has high or low. Now, if I had to nitpick the two, which one looks cooler? The Diva dryer. Which one is lighter? The Revlon one. Do they both have removable attachments? Yes. Do they both come with that other little like skinny looking one? Yes. Which one has a longer cord? The Diva dryer has a much longer cord. I realized that as I was filming today, I couldn't get my normal range. Which one has more wattage? The Revlon one. Which one has the most fan speeds? They both have two. Which one has the most temperature settings? The Diva dryer has cool, warm, and hot, where the Revlon just has warm and hot. At the end of the day, the biggest difference is definitely the price. This one costs 10 times the amount of this blow dryer. You could buy 10 Revlon diffusers and blow dryers for the price of one Diva dryer. Eek! So that is everything I think you need to know about both the Diva dryer and the Revlon dryer. I personally love them both. They both give me great results. I still recommend both of them. So whichever one you decide to choose, I hope you enjoy it as well. If you have either one of these dryers, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts on which one you have or might be thinking about getting. And make sure you come back next week for more curly hair videos. I post makeup reviews on Fridays and hair product reviews on Sunday. So push that little subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. Oh, and let's be besties. Follow me on all my social media, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee. Hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.